upgrade for my mini CNC lathe. Bought a mini quick change tool post holder and kit uh, for the grand price of £32.99 from Amazon UK. i uh, seen a few YouTube videos on this and it seems to work okay so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, it's a very basic kit but it does the job. It took a tool post holder, um, some tool posts for, the, for your um, tools. Um, you get two sizes of centre shaft, we're going to need the larger one, uh, a few spare allen key um, grub screws and some allen keys. What we'll do, we'll get this fitted. Um, only other upgrade I've made currently is I put a DRO on the drill um, tail stock, uh, which is very simple to make. Um, this is just a 3D printed part that I made. This is a very cheap vernier which I had to cut up from Amazon, it's about £7. Basically that's screwed to the, sh the shaft. This is then glued to the body of this and when I start to rotate that, as you can see, the, it's incrementing in millimetres. Uh, but it helps with any backlash or just see how, how far you want to drill into something, so that's quite useful. So I'd recommend that as an upgrade, it's very cheap. I think the vernier was about £8 and I just printed this part. Very simple. But moving on to the tool post holder, that's the part we've got to remove. It's very, very simple to remove. I'm going to do this all one handed now, non stop. So let's open the kit up so we can get access to that. Effectively, take the tool post holder off, or locking nut off rather. Lift, which reveals your centre shaft and a small spring loaded pin here which locates into those at the base of the tool post. Take this out, keep it safe to one side. Got to get this off. Now, I tried grips on it at the bottom, give it a turn. It was in very tight. Probably some form of Loctite on there or something. What I did in the end, I ended up screwing down a nut and then screwing a second nut down on top and then turn it against the bottom nut which then gave me access to allow this to free up and screw out so that was very nice very simple to do done from the kit we need the larger of the two allen key bolts um, i th pre-threaded this in just to make sure it threaded okay clean the threads clean the surface so let's move on top post right this is very simple to fit Roughly locate it. This part comes as two pieces. They, they just drop simply into there. And then with the larger bolt, sorry Allen key bolt, drop that into there, locate it, and tighten down. You will need a quite a large Allen key to tighten this down, which is not supplied in the kit. that good turn and lock him off and as long as that still moves you're fine and as you turn this, this rotate this you can feel the pins on the sides here front and back moving out and then simply to insert your tools just drop them in there using the brass nut you can adjust the height to get on center with the whichever tool you've chose to put in there um, I quite like this tool, this, this is the supplied with it for the boring bar, um, that will come in quite useful. Um, you only get two standard, so you may want to invest in a few more of these. Um, you get a parting off tool version, and as I just showed you the, um, the boring bar or internal threading, whichever you're doing. Um, and that's it really, I mean that's done now, the kit's complete. Um, it works well, I've tried it. Um, I dismantled it again just to show you how simple and how quick you can fit it. Obviously these can be locked off just by turning the knob there and that's solid now. They ain't going nowhere and obviously lock, set your centre, lock it off. All done. Well I hope that helps. Um, very quick, very simple to do and very cheap.